Westminster and we have just been classy enough to have had dinner at Greg's <laughs> vegan steak bake festive vegan steak bake and pizza for for the other one. Oh, got my fingerless gloves in shot so we are off to see Jeremy Celeste at Westminster Hall it's a candlelit Christmas show Ooh, twinkly <laughs> lights Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning, even. So we are off to Southwark Park to meet Ali and George and Percy and little baby Bertie. So Celeste last night, Westminster City Hall. Central. Central Hall. She was amazing, that voice. It was like an hour long concert, just over an hour, hour and 15. Uh, with a very long intro by the orchestra <laughs> warming up for her to come on which seemed to go on for hours stuck there I mean it was an amazing concert but those seats were not comfortable were they Jeremy no. he's plowing ahead because Teddy is pulling like crazy um, yeah couldn't wait to stand up could be Jeremy <laughs> my back still hurts <laughs> my back my hips my legs we are showing our age is this your uh, review of the concert? Yes. <laughs> the seats are uncomfortable, I've got a bad back. <laughs> no, she was amazing though, wasn't she? I mean, what a voice. And quite shy, and quite theatrical. Wasn't expecting that. No, a little bit nuts, which is in a good way. So yes, very theatrical. Were you expecting her to be so theatrical? <laughs> uh, no, didn't, I didn't know much about it, to be honest, about the song. You bought the album though? Yeah. Good afternoon, it's about half past three. I've got a couple of things to show you. Last week you might remember I did the uh, Riverford Veg Box, which I spelt incorrectly on the website address that popped up on the screen. So apologies uh, for that. It is Riverford 
.co.uk, not riverfood.co.uk. I made a little bit of an error. Right, so um, a couple of things I'll show you. First of all, this which arrived in the week <coughs> from, um, I don't actually know who sent it. Let me just find out, hang on. I can't remember who sent it, but they sent me a few snacks to review on my London Vegans platform, which is on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I used to do a YouTube channel when a friend of mine Polly lived here in London but <clears throat> stopped doing it. So um, these are just a few snacks that they've sent me to review, all vegan obviously. Um, hummus chips, I've had these before, quite nice. These are sea salt and balsamic vinegar. I always find these when I'm on the go because they're the kind of healthier alternative I guess to crisps. Although I was looking at, um, found these in Tesco the other day and they're really expensive, about two pounds a bag. I remember these being about 80p, if not a pound tops, but not anymore. Cost of living increase. Anyway, I'm not going to moan about that. Um, yeah, a couple of bags of those. Sea salt and balsamic vinegar, which I think was what the other ones were. Cheese and onion, faux cheesy crisps from Proper. 30% less fat. Not that that bothers me, especially at Christmas. <laughs> but these are obviously cheese and onion crisps, which is are really hard to find when you're a vegan because they're not always cheesy, they're quite oniony because they use a lot of that onion powder uh, to get that, you know, authentic cheese and onion taste. But um, yeah, looking forward to trying these. And there's also a flame grilled steak flavor, Nomu it says at the bottom of the bag, and a Thai chili flavor crisps. So, oh, here we go. I found it. It's uh, Woodrow who sent me these snacks saying we hope you love these new proper crisps and eat reels new hummus chips so go to the platform all the info down below and you can find out what I think of those because I'm not going to open them now because I'll do those when I actually review them um, the other thing I got sent again to review on the London Vegans platform is this bag of Crosstown Donuts now Cross Crosstown uh, do an amazing selection of vegan donuts and their PR team, the lovely Sarah at uh, Crosstown's PR, um, sent me an email saying I'm just trying to get all this stuff sorted before Christmas for Valentine's Day, obviously a few weeks away yet, not till February. Um, would you like to review the vegan donuts? And of course, yes. <laughs> I'm always up for reviewing vegan donuts from Crosstown because they're the most amazing donuts. So delicious. So these ones are, they've sent me all the garb. <clears throat> Let me just have a look. Got to take these off. So there's a chocolate and passion fruit uh, donut crafted with vegan cocoa sourdough filled with a passion fruit custard and then glazed with passion fruit and caramel glaze all finished with a dusting of gold luster. There's a rose and lychee vegan donut filled with lychee compote topped with delicious delicate rose glaze hand finished with crystallized rose petals all on our award-winning vegan sourdough and I think it's just those two of the vegan donuts I mean obviously they've got others in the Valentine's Day selection but those are the only plant-based ones so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the donuts because obviously we've got to eat these today when Madame Jeremy gets in tonight. Uh, we'll probably have one each to try, or maybe split both flavours and obviously review them on the London Vegans platform. So, this is what they look like. They come in a nice Crosstown box with my name on. Uh, the nice bow, black bow, very fitting for a, an old goth. <laughs> Don't believe me. Check out this picture on the screen now. Yeah, enough said. Taken at um, Falmouth Art College when I was 20, 19, 20, uh, back in the early 90s. A long time ago, many moons ago. Um, but yeah, still an old goth at heart. It's just that I don't look like one. So have a look at this. Have a look at these donuts. Uh, they'll be so tempting, I know. I will want to eat them straight away, but obviously I can't. Amazing! You probably can't see because there's no light. But I'm gonna pick one up. Shall I have one? I might have one. <laughs> Don't tell Jeremy. So there's the rose 
I'm guessing that's the rose lychee. Oh, it's so tempting. I'm not going to. I'm going to save them. But yeah, very nice selection, which I should be taking photos of for the socials and trying them out at London Vegan. So check all the details down below and check out the Crosstown Donuts info which is on the screen now and also in the description box and get your vegan donuts for valentine's day 2023 sounds crazy to say that it's only a few weeks away i was saying this about christmas <laughs> probably about six months ago and it's true it's come around so quick this year has flown by two at the moment soon to go so try the chopped up passion fruit one first Somebody's looking. Oh wow. Good. Mmm. Really dark chocolate. Mmm, that's good. So that's the can we see inside? Go for that one, that was a 10. What, the rose? No, the chocolate one. And the other one? Um, eight. It's not bad. Yeah, I haven't got to light you yet, so I don't know. <laughs> so I wanted to show you this magazine which I've been sent in the week. This is Departures, which is a fantastic lifestyle magazine, uh, an American lifestyle magazine, which I got sent just a few days ago. I wasn't expecting this to come through the post at all. So basically, I started writing for Departures. They're based in New York. A very good friend of mine is the deputy editor, that's Cole, who I met at Manchester Pride probably about 13 years ago. Cole and I have kept in touch since I met him at Manchester Pride. He has been over to the UK quite a few times. He came for a uh, music festival in Manchester. Oh gosh, that was probably, I don't know, eight years or nine years maybe ago. Um, and we've remained friends. But a few months ago, he asked me if I wanted to do an article for Departures Online. Um, I hadn't actually seen it in print, but this week I got something else sent through um, another piece that I'd written, but I'll come on to that. So the review, the initial review that I did, the first one was a few months ago, maybe a year ago, probably not that long ago, but I was invited to uh, do a vegan restaurant review for Pierre de Terre in Fitzrovia. So I went down with Jeremy, had the most amazing vegan tasting menu. I think it was an eight course vegan tasting menu. Um, obviously wine thrown in, um, I'll put some pictures up on the screen, you'll probably see how much wine we drank and it was a lot of it. <laughs> so we did feel quite woozy when we came back. But the food was incredible. Met the owner and the guy that runs Pierre de Terre, did an interview with him. Um, I'll post the link down below in the description box so you can read it. Hopefully you can still access it online. But I got asked to do another two articles. The second one was um, a Q&A which is in here which is all to do with my favourite spots in London. Let me just try and find the article so I can show you. The article is an insider's guide to England's capital city and they've done a really cool illustration of me and uh, another lady that's written an article who is Rennie MacDonald and she's a fashion designer and founder of Lizzie. So there we go. Yours truly. <laughs> Never look better. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so um, I've picked out the RVT. I've picked out Stave Hill Park next to Russia Dock Woodland. Uh, best city view I've said is the Emirates Airline, the cable car, which is really cheap as well. I think it's only about six quid to see across the River Thames and see all the, you know, obviously the landmarks, the London landmarks. Um, so, check that article out. 
Thank you to the guys at Departures who very kindly sent me a copy, a hardback copy um, to keep as a memento of my work. Um, there was another article I did since the Q&A, which was, I think that's only available online. I could be wrong. That might be, um, there might be a copy version of that as well. But as far as I know, it's just online, which was uh, me selecting my favourite hotels, my favourite entertainment hotspots, and I picked out Ava Voyage as one of those, uh, which I went to a few months ago, which is amazing. But anyway, you'll be able to find it down, down there. So yeah, thanks to the guys at Departures. Thank you to Cole, who got me the work in the first place. Hopefully there'll be more to come. You know, it does reference a few things, uh, but you know, I'm not a massive jumper, I've got to say. And I watched this with my husband, who's a colossal jumper. <laughs> and throughout the whole film, the dogs just kept waking up every 30 seconds because the pair of us were jumping away. Uh, and we were both at it. So, you know, it works. Jumpometer, we need a jumpometer graphic here. Yeah. <laughs> definitely jumping a lot. In this it was definitely up there for me as well. My other half, yeah, he, he didn't jump at all. And I did quite a few times. There was one really jumpy moment. And if you've seen the short, I don't know if you've seen the short that this is based on. It's about 11 minutes. There's one really jumpy moment at the end, which just <laughs> it got me. And I'm such a hardened horror fan as well. I don't, you know, I still jump, but... Yeah, a lot of things don't terrify me. I'm not saying this terrified me, but it definitely unnerved me, this film. I think, do you know what I really like about this film is that it's got a really nice pace about it. There's a real unfolding to the narrative for me. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't just lay it all on the table at the beginning and it doesn't make you wonder what on earth's going on until the end. You know, it actually just has this really nice kind of build to it. And, you know, it's... It, it really took me on a bit of a journey, to be honest. I think that there's a bit of a kind of thriller aspect to it. There's, there's a kind of mystery to it. Yeah. There's kind of like, I don't want to give away too much about the film, but there's this really lovely kind of thing going through it where you just, you I feel real, real, real empathy with the lead. And I was just like, well, she, she was thinking, am I mad? And I was thinking, well, am I mad? You know, are we all mad? You know, what, who's right, who's wrong? You know, and I just found that really, really, good all the way through it really maintained that for me uh for the duration of the film really you know am, am i you know, am i mad or you know am i not you know you know i was on an asthma inhaler all every day and i had allergy shots twice a week all of that went away. I stopped taking antibiotics. I used to take antibiotics about twice a year because I'd get bronchitis all the time. And um, and I had cystic acne, and I was getting a little bit chubbier at that time. And I um, and people were saying mean things to me about me, about me in the press. And um, so all of those things just shifted. The whites of my eyes got really white. I slimmed up. My acne went away. My nails got so strong I couldn't bend them. My eyes got white. I just, my hair was so strong and thick and I just, everything changed. So I didn't have something, I was young enough that I didn't have, you know, 
cancer or heart disease or anything like that or diabetes, but I was sure on my way, just like everyone else. Is. So um, I, I definitely nipped it all in the butt before. So this is where I'm going to leave the vlog for this week. Um, obviously this has been published on Christmas Day so I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for your support this year whether you've been just watching the new vlogs or if you're here for the uh, movie reviews or interviews thank you so much for doing that. I've still got some um, videos to come actually in the next few days so maybe over the next week over the Christmas and New Year period I'll, um, I'll get those up online but yeah I'm going to take a few days off now because <laughs> it has been insane. So have an amazing Christmas Day today if you're watching this on Christmas Day um, have a great week leading up to New Year I shall see you next Sunday at 11am which I think is New Year's Day I am DJing on New Year's Eve at Tuberus so you might see some of that footage on this vlog it's not going to be a late one I think I finish at half past 12 thank goodness so I shall see you on the next one have a good one Merry Christmas see you soon